In this video, we will discuss how to post transactions from time slips to QuickBooks. At this point, you should have TalPro set up, linked, and synced from watching the previous videos. There are two ways to post data to QuickBooks. One is manually, which we will be doing today. The other is when you generate and approve your bills. These settings can be set under the Accounting, Settings, Options area. Let's get started. First, we want to make sure that we have transactions and time slips that we can post to QuickBooks. Let's open up our transaction list. Looks like we have transactions that we'll post. Let's navigate to Accounting, Transfer to GL. When the Transfer dialog appears, we will have the ability to filter certain types of transactions. Depending on your accounting method, some types may be disabled. Let's set a specific filter for our client, ABC. Once we have our client selected, let's click OK. TalPro will process your transactions and display a final dialog where you can view each transaction in complete detail. If there are any issues, TalPro will display all errors in red, as well as display why they are occurring. Let's take a look at our available options. First, we have three tabs, GL Entries, GL Account Totals, and Summary. The GL Entries tab displays each transaction in detail, including the status of the transaction which displays a green check or a red X, which indicates that transaction will not post due to errors. The GL Account tab shows you at a glance which account's money is being debited and credited to in detail. The Summary tab aggregates all of your information in a very clean format so you can quickly see what's going on prior to your posting. You can see things such as your transfer date and time, your selection filter ranges, important TalPro account settings details, the number of each type of transaction, and lastly, your totals of debits and credits. At the bottom of this dialog, we have the ability to print our GL entries to a printer. This may be helpful if we want to go over these entries later before posting. We are going to choose Post to QuickBooks. Let's choose Post to QuickBooks. TalPro will alert you that in doing so, these transactions will be marked as posted in time slips. If you are sure, then click Yes. Depending on how many transactions you have, you may see a progress bar that displays in real time which transactions are posted to QuickBooks. Once complete, we can view a log that shows us everything that has happened. Let's click OK to close this dialog. If we go back to our AR transaction list, we will now see that our transactions have white arrows, which indicates that they have been posted successfully. In some situations, we may decide that we need to recall our transactions back from QuickBooks. To do this, we can perform a reversal by going to Accounting, View Past Transfers. Here, we can view one or more past transfers at the same time. Let's select a few and click View Details. Here, the screen is exactly the same as the Transfer to GL dialog. We have our three tabs to display our important data. You can specifically select entries to reverse. The only items that will not reverse are checks that have been posted over to QuickBooks, such as refunds or payments from accounts, and you will see that they are disabled and cannot be selected. Let's perform a reverse. Again, we receive an alert asking if we are sure. We will say yes. We receive a progress bar that shows us in real time what is being reversed, and again, we can also view the log if we want. We're going to click OK. Anytime you perform a reverse, TalPro creates an entry in this list. However, if you attempt to reverse a reverse, you will see that items that have been reversed now show red X's that indicate that they cannot be reversed since they already have. Let's view our transaction list. Items that have been reversed 
no longer have a white arrow indicator. Finally, if you would like to print a traditional GL report, you may do so from the Accounting menu by going to Accounting, GL Transfer Register Report. This report, however, no longer posts to QuickBooks like in previous versions and is only used for printing records. This concludes our video.